so this video uh, regarding for to the hosting the Nexus application on Vercel using maybe uh, Vercel CLI. Put that first preview. Install the Nexus. And I can use this command for the like, basic projects. I use mostly PowerShell for the installation. I just run a command for the npx create next app, which is going to be clone of Nexus blog. Maybe it can take, take time, so I will just pause this video. Now installation is complete. Just go to CD next and close. And I can just run the npm run block tab, which is going to run on 3000 code maybe. So I can use this one for the quick overview. So this is my application. Now I have to host on my Vercel. So Vercel, for hosting Vercel, uh, we would need to uh, Vercel CLI, which I'm going to install by the NVMe-G, which is going to globally install. So I have already installed the my in my system. So you have to, uh, you maybe need to install the Vercel. So I can just check my version. So first for that, I have to stop and I can check virtual version, which is 22.0.1. So I can just run the virtual and hit the enter. Now it's asking for the set of the particular um, directory. So I can just, yes which is my name, link to existing project on virtual, no. What is your project name? So let's say check uh, uh, next JS virtual in this review, yes, the root directory setting the project. So it's asking for the default, uh, the next uh, default is showing that. So we don't need to any override the settings. So we can keep the no deploying to this one. Okay. So if I rerun this command, then it is uploaded on preview. So if I want to uh, deploy the production build, so I have to run the virtual hyphen hyphen prod. Right now you can see this preview version is deployed here. I can show you. So now we want something like this to host here without the username. So maybe it should take time. You can uh, check the build here as well. So this is my deployments, which is ready. And you can see if I copy and I open this one, Next is Vercel 9 Vercel dot app. Thanks, guys.